Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and this is Harmonic Hills for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. The local authority won't allow construction above tree height in this park. Your objective to have at least 1200 guests in your park at the end of October year three with a park rating of at least 600. Okay, so no big rides then. So we've got a medium sized park. We've already got the, the path laid out. Um, I don't like the way the uh, the benches are already down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over that. I'll probably keep the path where it is, but I'll um, I'll go over the path to get rid of the benches. Um, we're not allowed to go over tree height. Um, so does that mean we can't get rid of the trees or as well? Or yeah, it does. Okay, so we we. Um, Let's have a look then. Okay, we can't get rid of the trees either. Ah, okay. Um, what about... Oh, we can't terraform either. Okay. So, no going underground then, unless there's a, like a, a cliff edge or something like a vertical face we can use to go underground anywhere. Can't see any. Okay. Um see what we got then we've got free entries we're charging for the rides we've got um, a good selection of rides then considering that we're going to be struggling to build anything um, with all the trees around so we've got a merry-go-round we've got these which have got nice tight bends so we can go in and out of the trees that should be okay we've got um, well, that's going to be useless then if we can't go above trees. Um, this is going to be handy. It's probably going to be the best one. Possibly that. But uh, possibly the junior coaster. But these, the wooden wild mine rides, they've got tight bends. So that should be better for going around the trees. North Rail rides. Okay. No water rides. I'm not really bothered about that and no shops apart from a kiosk and toilets oh right okay i think um first thing we're going to do then is research we're going to be researching um shops and thrill rides we've got we can make do i think we can make do with some rides first we can start on these maybe this and um and then see how we go. Um, I wouldn't mind some more gentle rides as well, to be honest. Um, so I think shops is probably what I'm going to research first. Uh, thrill rides, gentle rides as well. So I don't know if I'm going to leave all of them or just concentrate on one at a time. So let's go on shops. And then we can look at, um, once we've got some food and drink, we can look at thrill rides, maybe some gentle rides as well. Let's just see what, what we can uh, research. So, looks like I've got my work cut out to me for this because we need to get, what was it again, 1200, was it 1200 with lots of small rides. So, I'm going to start building then and uh, let's see how we get off. It is July year one, so I've got a food and drink stall. Toffee apples don't really give you much, there's not much nutritional value in them. I must have left the deciding um what to research a bit too long because it gave me this gentle ride so I've, I've made use of it i've just just put it down it's not very it's not very exciting but um some of the guests are enjoying it so i've got the the hairy cycles i've got a small managed to fit in a, a junior coaster there good excitement of them we've got uh we've got the mine ride over here the first one i've um no entry signed. Some of the paths stop guests coming on. This one's uh, currently in test. Um, we've got another one over here. So these are quite popular. I've got the no entry sign there. Just to stop the guests wandering all around the place. Where, um, if we haven't got rides down the other end of the park, there's no point the guests going down there. It's just going to mean that they're not spending money. So we're doing all right. The guests are, are coming in. It's just starting to flatten off a little bit now. 
but um, the more rides we add the more guests are going to come into the park so it's um it's been a bit tricky having a weave in and out you can see it's quite useful this one is probably easier to see than uh, some of the other rides because you with these you've got the supports so it's just a case of looking for a, a nice space long enough to put down a station and then trying to weave the ride in and out um, as best you can in order to to get a decent excitement from it um, so yeah we're doing all right it's it's a bit challenging um, we'll have to wait and see until we're further into the game to find out whether it is hard or not but um, I'm gonna carry on playing and uh, I'll see you later on it is October year one so I've got a few more food stalls I got the sausages so that's uh, that's good I'll give them something nice to eat I've carried on building down here I've been researching thrill rides so we've unlocked go-karts still waiting for the for the results to come back on that one and then just down here there we've got a twist and we've got a couple of carousels I've put them down just because that's all we've got at the moment plus it means if I research any more uh, three by three rides I can always get rid of one or both of these carousels and then just stick them down in the same spot um, with the theme in what I've decided to do is I've just picked a color for the for the roller coasters and then I've just that's what I've called them it's a bit lazy but um, you do what you gotta do and then for the flat rides then all the boring rides I'm just going with the blue it looks like I've forgotten to put a no entry sign down there so they're all having a big walk just around it's uh we're doing all right now um we're nearly halfway there at the end of year one so we should do this no problem the go-kart is going to help it's only a small track but the bigger the track we do the more exciting we can make it um the fact that we've got go-karts now should make it fairly easy because we can we can build a few tracks and because they've got the tight bends that means we can just weave these in and out of the trees and that'll give it a good excitement boost because weaving in and out of the trees gives you a bit of a scenery boost as well so i'm going to carry on playing which i don't foresee any problems with this it's just a case of um, continuing to build rides the motion simulator there you go so that's going to make it easier because they're only a, a two by two ride um, and, they've, and uh, the guests love them as well so we can put a couple of them around the place so it's just a case of putting rides uh, flat rides just around dotting them around the place and then putting down some of the coasters as and when we've got the space it is October year two and I've just finished building a stand-up roller coaster so let's have a look at the stats then just under five which isn't bad considering the the tight space what I've done with this one is if you look at this section here I've left these corners unbanked so there's two reasons for that firstly it helps cram it into a smaller space and secondly it adds a bit of intensity because um, if I can't get the excitement then I'm going to try to go for a for go for a bit of intensity and um, it's, it's worked you know it's uh, it's it's given me that's a pretty good ride I think for such a cramped space it's quite a good ride so what else have we done then since we last uh, last spoke we've got uh, another junior roller coaster just down here not bad excitement we've got a top spin pirate ship so we've had to put this down the dip just to get it under the the tree height we've got another junior coaster up here again and i think considering the the space constraints anything over four excitement is uh, you should consider that a win got another another go karts here and uh, there you go another another pirate ship we've got a motion simulator we're just putting putting things down as and when we can um yeah so i'm gonna have to go maybe into the middle now and uh, possibly share exits because it's um the parving is probably the most tricky thing building these rides isn't very tricky because you've you they've got tight bends and, and i know with parving you can do tight bends as well but that is 
quite tricky as, as well because you've already used most of the good space on the rides so perhaps going forward i'll build the stations then the paths and then build the act the finish the rides off as well so i'm gonna crack on with building we've got over 1300 guests the scenario one's 1200 so we, we're already past we just need to ensure that um, we don't get um, a huge amount of guests leaving money wise we're doing all right so i've got way more money than than i can spend um i've paid off the loan as well so all this now is is genuine profit so i think going forward what we can do for the final year is all the rubbish rides like the carousels things like that we can put that down to free we can put this down to free all the other flat rides we can put down to free and in that way then if there's any guests leaving the park because they're running out of money they might see one of these and think oh hang on a second i can afford that i'm going to go on there and that'll just keep them in the park a bit longer and that'll ensure that we um we beat the scenario goal quite easily so i'm going to carry on playing i'll see you this time next year for a park tour it is october year three the scenario wants 1200 guests and we're giving them over 1400 so we're we're doing fine the rating is up on maximum so we're going to pass this no problem so when we came into the park then there was a rule that stated we couldn't build above tree height um there was also as well the unwritten rule that we weren't allowed to get rid of the trees and we weren't allowed to terraform so we can't go underground because all all the land is either flat or it's the sloped like this so there's no vertical faces that we, we could go into so that's um been a bit um of a bind but um we've done it all the same so the brown path then leading all the way around that was here to begin with there were benches but i got rid of those um mainly because i didn't want to have to deal with vandalism so if i'm going to add benches to the parks i want to do it in an area that um, i can monitor and put security guards down rather than having them randomly around the park so what i did then first of all i researched shops but i must have left it a bit too long to pick what i was researching because these heli cycles um were unlocked so i built them anyway because they got nice tight bends and it's just something for the guests to do at the moment i've got this and all the other uh rubbish rides so all the flat rides etc they're all free just to keep the guests in the park a little bit longer we're making tons of money off the roller coasters so the flat rides we might as well make them free because um we don't need the extra cash then we've got a junior roller coaster here first of many so with oh let's try and see if i can do them in number order so over here then we've got black no we've got white which is a wild mine ride so it's good excitement on this so as soon as we built these we've charged five pounds for them um then we've got the junior roller coaster which way is up which way is up just over here so with some of these coasters what i've been doing is because it's tricky to get the excitement high um so i've been doing some some maybe some flat bends so with this one now you've got these unbanked bends so that just adds a little bit of intensity to the rides so that helps with the um with the excitement as well too much and that'll take the excitement off but just enough and that'll help so then we've got orange just over here another mine ride good excitement on that and then we unlock we were into thrill rides once we unlocked the shops so just around the park then we've got uh we've got uh, fizzy drinks uh disgusting apples and hot dogs so then we unlocked the go-karts there's the first of our own three go-karts that we've got we've been charging five for these as well um then we've got green so that's another mine ride good excitement on this i believe this is the the guest's favorite let's have a look yep by a, by a massive margin so that doesn't mean the rest of them are bad rides it just means that this one is is the best we've got a couple of flat rides just up here um i put down two carousels close to each other because i wanted to use them just to just to put them down as something because that's all we had at the, at the moment at the time um but also 
that it means that in future we could have just deleted them and rebuilt whatever we unlocked over them um but we didn't it, nothing would go in there because everything was too big so we just left them as they were they're free at the moment same as all the other flat rides and we've got purple just over here another junior coaster good excitement on that again it's got this unbanked corner just to add a bit of intensity to it got another go-kart just there got pirate ship got another junior coaster here Good excitement on that for for the area another another go-kart we've got a tiny little roto drop even though it's the, the smallest it can go still good excitement 3d cinema popular in the rain another pirate ship and that brings us back to the start little little motion simulator hiding behind the trees there um what have we got in the middle i've just finished building a virginia reel so it's got excitement on that so i think a few more months and this would probably would give green arrival a run for its money as the um most exciting ride in the park initially where these oh and we've done it there you go stool so initially where you can see these two chain lefts it did return back to the station from there but um, it gave low excitement so i looked at the stats and i think the ride length was only around 800 feet so with this type of ride the virginia reel it does seem to penalize you if you're less than i'm not sure what the exact figure is but certainly when you're under a thousand feet it does give you um, a very low rating so if you find that you've built one and you've got a low rating try checking the the length and if it is less than a thousand try try increasing it so this one here is uh, 1200 so i think 1200 is a good length for a virginia reel um, and then what you should find is the excitement raises considerably i don't think i showed you the stand up we did see it earlier on but um so yeah i managed to build a stand up it's just a case of i built the station on the paths and then um trying to build out turn um can you go down this way yes can you go down that way no try a different way and just it was just a case of trial and error until i was able to make it so i got a an s bend i don't like using the s bends but you know if you sometimes you've got to if uh if you haven't got the space so just wait for it to go out and then we'll have a, a watch then just to see So there you go it's not going too fast um by their nature the stand-up coasters are quite intense so these flat corners here that adds a bit of intensity because it will add some it'll add the lateral g's but it's not going too fast to make it extremely intense but it's just going well enough so it's got a nice bit of intensity that uh, a lot of the guests will crave so that was harmonic hills was it challenging in the end not really at first i think it was um but once you get the hang of building around the trees um it does become quite quite easy um it's very samey the fact that i've got was i've got three go-karts i've got about three mine rides i've got about three junior coasters possibly four i don't know three um numerous other duplicates on the flat right so yes it is it is a bit samey with uh, with regards to that with some of the rides what i noticed was let's have a look in uh, start with the thrill rides launch free fall you can't place that anywhere i tried it you can't place it on upward launch because it'll just crash even if you put it on downward launch it'll go to the top then it'll drop it and then it'll bounce back up and crash so that's useless um swing the inverter ship i couldn't find anywhere to place that there you go see even at its normal height it's its normal height is higher than the trees you can't place this anywhere so that's uh, pointless um yeah other than that all the rides were okay in the roller coasters so i've just researched that i would have used that if had i would have used these had i researched them earlier so maybe you'd want to research roller coasters sooner um these are probably going to be too 
too small the area is to uh, get something on that i don't think i've used one so far i did try where the virginia reel is i did try to put a mine right down there um and after spending ages getting it to connect back to the station it results came back and it was like one excitement i even tried the flat corners to try and add some intensity but um nope it didn't want to play ball so i got rid of it and just put the virginia reel down looping coasters i'm not sure when that unlocked i hadn't noticed that um but again i don't know if how hard it would be to get one of these with um considering how tight the space is and they haven't got tight bends on them as well again the same with these and even a giga coaster which is just insane on a map like this and these i'd i don't know maybe maybe to make it to make it harder maybe they shouldn't have had these rides here because these four rides you can use tight bends on them so that does make it quite easy but um, maybe it would be harder without if they didn't have those rides maybe without the go-karts as well that would make it harder but um, all in all it's not the best scenario it's one of the better ones that we've played in this tier so far having said that anything would be better than thunderstorm whatever it was called that pyramid one anything would be better than that but um this is not bad i think of course the canyons probably my my favorite of the tier so far but, um this has probably come a, a close second it's not bad in the end i think it would be nice if they had a few vertical faces dotted around just so you could go underground um that way then you would you'd have to sort of pick which ride you're going to use to go underground so that would be quite interesting but um all in all not a bad scenario possibly would play it again so i am still this was harmonic hills for roller coaster tycoon classic any comments questions feedback leave them in the comment section if you like the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye